In release 16 of the 3GPP specifications, the notion of a multi-access PDU session was introduced. And as you can see from the diagram, what that means is the device can actually set up a PDU session which utilizes both 3GPP access, new radio, but also non-3GPP access, which is inevitably going to be Wi-Fi. So the question is then, well, if we've got these two kinds of access networks available to us, how do we distribute data across the multi-access PDU session? Which access network should be used for which kind of data? And as such, the notion of AT treble S was introduced. As you can see, access network traffic steering, switching, and splitting, because that's what we can do with the traffic across either of these networks. What we need to understand is, well, how should we split the traffic or how should we steer the traffic and such like? Well, you can see that for the uplink, we can use what are known as AT S rules, which are provided by the network. So a combination of AT S rules, but also we've got to factor in local network conditions. They can be used to dictate how that uplink traffic is actually distributed across the two available access networks that we have. Conversely, in the downlink, you can see that the rules for downlink delivery are provided to the UPF, as you might expect, from the session management function. But we can also use feedback from the device to assist with that. So in terms of implementing AT S in the network, the first thing that the device needs to do is it actually needs to conduct a registration across both of the available access networks, 5G new radio and Wi-Fi. Once we do that, we can actually set up a PDU session to whichever data network we need to connect to. So that's going to be a multi-access PDU session. It's th at this point that the network will distribute the AT S rules so they're actually generated by the PCF and they can be delivered to the device using NAS signaling. So these are the rules which will dictate, okay, for this traffic type, this is the access network you need to use, or for this traffic type, you can share your traffic across both access networks. So the steering functionality needs to be applied and it's up to the device to achieve this. Now, it could be based on a variety of different methodologies. So we might have, for example, an active standby approach. So for this data type, ideally use 5G. If that's not available, use the standby of Wi-Fi. We could have a smallest delay approach. So for this traffic type, we need to have a network which will provide the smallest delay. So use whichever network at this time is indeed providing the smallest delay. We could have a simple load balancing mechanism, so we share the traffic across both networks, or it could be a priority-based mechanism alternatively. So remember, these AT S rules would need to be configured at the device if indeed the device is allowed to support multi-access PDU sessions. <music>